Well, family and friends filled the Okfuskie County courtroom today to face Kevin Sweat, but there was disappointment as the scheduled preliminary hearing was postponed. I'm just upset because I was wanting, you know, to get it going. Kevin Sweat was brought in wearing a bulletproof vest. Dozens of family members of both his fiance Ashley Taylor and the two Walitka girls, Skyla Whitaker and Taylor Paschal Placker, were expecting a hearing, hoping to get answers about what happened to their loved ones. Because obviously we don't know everything, and so we're going to listen carefully, and uh, uh, maybe we can find out exactly why, uh, because we weren't ever gi even given that information yet. Monday's hearing was supposed to be a preliminary hearing in Ashley Taylor's case. Her mother is scheduled to testify. I miss her a lot. Patricia Taylor says her daughter and Kevin Sweat were together for four years, and she never would have suspected he was capable of murder. When he was at home with us and they was together, he was just lovey and hugging on her and, you know, like calling her sweetie and kissing on her and just like, you know, he just loved her to death. Now she wants justice. That's all I can say. I'd like him not to be on this earth anymore. Ashley's father, Michael Taylor, says he's worked to put aside his hatred of sweat. It's not about him anymore. Um, this is about my daughter. Uh, I laid the... The only way to survive is to lay the hate down, and that's what I did. Defense attorneys for sweat unexpectedly asked for more time to review a discovery report, pushing back the scheduled hearing. Kevin Sweat is scheduled to be back here on May 22nd for the Ashley Taylor case, as well as a status hearing for the murder of the two Walika girls. In Okfuskie County, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News works for you.